Good evening. It is rather late. It is uh, actually nearly midnight on a Saturday, the 6th of July. Um, I've been meaning to try and get this video done all week, but it's been busy. And then I sat down to do it and then I don't know what happened. I think I got distracted doing something else. Anyway, here I am with a rather late check-in. And I was like, right, if I don't do it now, it just won't happen. And then it will eat into next week. So here we are. We're going to just kind of skip the end of June and just go into the first week of July. We've finally sold my iPad. Oh, what a palaver. Like I said in my last video, selling technology online just brings out the weirdos. <laughs> sold it to a lovely lady. Um, ended up being £60 in the end. And so I was happy. And I've got that actually to cash stuff today into my tin. So um, I'm going to stick that there. Oh, just off screen to remind me to stuff that later <clears throat> excuse me and then um like i said my nephew's getting married so uh we bought a present off his off their john lewis gift list and then my husband gave me a contribution towards that so um i spent 15 pounds which needs to come out of my gift binder and back to bank uh i'll do that in a minute but i've got i left myself a little post-it note to remind me and then no spend, no spend, no spend. I've been really trying hard not to spend. But then today we went to a uh, church fair and they we thought it might be rained off outside, but it wasn't. So they have plant stalls outside, garden stalls, other little like local stalls and stuff. And then the video I'm hopefully remembering to input here is of the inside where they have bric-a-brac and, you know, bits and pieces for sale and, you know, tombola type things. So, like I said, I was trying not to buy, but I did buy, and I'll show you that now, and then I'll come back to my, um, oh, have I totally skipped? What happened there? <laughs> I paid for petrol <laughs> on Friday, and I got it down to, I, on the, what I don't really understand, on the counter, it said £30, and then I think I like shook the petrol to make sure like it didn't leak. And then I wonder if it added 1p. Because when I got in to pay, she's like, oh, it's £30 or 1p. I was like, really? I was like, I was really surprised. But anyway, it's better than 6p. <laughs> I'm getting there. One of these days I'll get it to £30 exactly. Yes, so £21, as I was saying, was spent at the um, at the fair. And then um, I came back home after... One thing another and sold my son's like a cubed unit that was in his bedroom um because we gave his bedroom a good tidy and sort out and i was like i'm just gonna stick on a foot for a fiver to get rid of it so that sold for five pounds um on facebook while the football was on instant incidentally i did watch a bit of it but then i was like oh, i'm just gonna pop out and i came back in again to drop the cube thing off right i was gonna show you what i got from the fair I think the most expensive thing was uh, these jams because um, these were like £3 each and I think this one was 2 50 I've taken the stickers off because um, they're going to be saved for Christmas. So Kisbury jam is my father-in-law's favourite, damson jam is my dad's favourite and then I got a lemon and lime which I'll probably save for Mr Money Matters. So that's, if he watches this video he'll know. <laughs> Never mind. Then um, I, there was like a little stall to support Ukraine and I got these um, two little Easter decorations which I thought were rather cute and I can add it to my Easter decorations. <laughs> so these came up to 3 50 for both of them. I think this was £2 and this was £1.50. Um, yeah, really cute handmade ornaments. And then now... I'm not actually going to tell you how much I paid for these because I'm hoping to sell them. But I got myself a bit of a bargain. So these are both designer purses inside. So this was the first one I picked up, which was Kate Spade. Um, if you're interested in these purses, let me know. And I will arrange a price. Um, brand new, still got the packaging. Really nice purse. Look, embossed with Kate Spade in there. And then on this side, you've got a little like card bit. Again, look, the packaging is still in there. Look, the zip has still got its packaging on. 
and it's got a 5p inside, which I might take out to cash stuff myself. Don't care if it's lucky or whatever people say. Um, I don't know why I'm croaky, it might be because I'm tired. Okay, and then the other one was the coach one, and I was like, I don't know if this is real, but I'm sure it is because it smells of leather. It's got the sticker on the back, and um, yeah, I think this is authentic because it's got everything, like all the little um, details on the zips, and then when you open it up as well. Like I said, it's, you can smell the leather and then it's imprinted there. No, sadly no money left in this one, <laughs> I don't think. Did I check the purse? No money in that one. And yeah, it's embossed on there too. So, these were an absolute steal, like I said. But I'm probably going to sell them. I wonder if you can guess how much I paid for these. If you want, you can guess. <laughs> and then so they charged me for these and then let me have this necklace that I was eyeing up so I don't think I've actually got a red necklace and it would go with my outfit I'm wearing today uh, I've got red earrings so I was pleased to get a nice pretty red necklace okay so let's just quickly do the housekeeping this is my gift binder which comes out occasionally now I've got £5 left in June but I'm wondering I might just shove him over to July or I could just take it out and take out £15 that I use towards the presents online and this goes towards next month's cash stuffing and gets put in the back here. I need to do myself a pretty envelope really. So it's got five in there at the moment and then now it's got 15 more. Okay. So let's take out week one's money ready to stuff in the purse. And then any money spent at the fair, um, I've just put the, I've kept the change. So I tried to use up change one when I got it, but I did think, oh, I'm just going to keep the change. And so then I can cash stuff the change. So there's quite a bit there, which is good. And then we are restuffing the purse with £55. Easy as that. Okay, great. Let's see what we've got in terms of change and challenges. So let me sort this out. Okay, so we've got two, three 10 P's, one 20 P. Unusual to get some 10 P's, one, two, three, and one 20 P. Okay. Penny was fast asleep, I've just dragged her out. Okay, there we go, Penny, there's some cash for you. And that's done. Then we've got rather a lot of 50p's, which is quite exciting. A nice dirty one there. Anything special? I think they're just no normal 50p's. So let's come up here. One, how many did I say? Two, four, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's six. So two more to go. And I've already got a fiver, so that's good. Um, then let's go and stuff this. So this should be 65, 20, 30, 40, 50, 65. And this, very excitedly, is going to go in tin. Thank you to your help about stuffing my tin. And saying, just keep stuffing it until it, like, you can't stuff it no more. So... And it goes, that's towards next year's savings. I might put a 2025 sticker on there, if I remember. Okay. <clears throat> I thought my voice might clear, but it's still a bit croaky. Oh, what am I doing? I've got, see, I shouldn't really record at this time of night. I've got £35 to go in some challenges. So, let's see what we got. Can't turn the page. 
Okay, let's start with this one because this eats up some um, coins. This one is calling me. So I need to do this on a flat surface because it's a little bit tricky otherwise. And um, we've got a record, so a fiver. Zap this up. So a fiver going into Scratch the Record. I don't know if I've got anything for this to go in yet. I'm just going to keep saving. So it's got 15... 16, 17 in there at the moment. Sorry about the reflections. So crochet counters, each shape represents five. So I'm going to put two in here. Might change the colour and you can see it a bit better. There we go. So a tenner going in here. Then, hmm, I've got 20 left, so I could put another 10 in here, or did wonder about, do I restart my iris binder? I think I might, you know. Let's get this started. While we've got a 20, <clears throat> let's get that stashed away. And then, uh, yeah, we'll do that. Cool. On to the mini me binder. This is full of pound coins. And we've got, I think we've got nine. Oh, it's a sneaky 5p. I'll save that for next time. Three, six, nine. We have got nine. Okay. So I've got like a tray. <laughs> and I keep forgetting to use this because it has... I keep putting my stuff on it. So let's bring out said tray. I'm very tempted to a dice tower. But, um, yeah. Very tempted. <laughs> so we've got... Let's use Big Pink. She's not come on for a little while and use a little combination one one and six so let's take this out so we know what we're doing totally taking up the whole room so we've got five pounds in challenges now it's exciting And number six is gifts. So this now has six. Okay, let's roll again. Let's twist again. I've got two five. Oh, three fives. Going into Christmas. No, three. <laughs> number five. We've got three. All going into Christmas. Make some sense here, make some sense. I can't. It's now like 10 past 12. Okay, let's roll again. Let's get some different numbers, please. Two, six, and four. Two is car, that's good. This is kind of in the way, I think. So car is feeling chunky. It's got... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pounds now. I think when it gets to ten, I will decant it. Um, so it's car. And number five was Christmas again. It likes Christmas today. So Christmas now has seven. And number six is gifts. So there we go. The dice have spoken. <laughs> Lovely job, please. Right, okay, I'm going to call this a day and make sure I put my challenge back. And I've done that, so I don't need that post it note.
there we go i hope you guys are keeping well i'm sorry i've not caught up on a lot of videos i've been rather busy and next week is set to be even busier so i will try and check in with you when i can and I, sometimes I just do an occasional video. If, you, if you've just loaded, I'm like, oh, you've just loaded, I'll quickly watch a video. So sorry that I've not been as prevalent in watching videos. I've just not had the time. Um, I will hopefully catch up soon. Thank you for leaving me a thumbs up and a comment. <laughs> hint, hint, wink, wink. <laughs> sorry, I'm making myself laugh. Take care, God bless you, and I'll catch you soon on My Money Matters. Bye for now.